Hi guys, cheers, thanks for joining me on Tank TV. Got Brad Babs. Uh, if you don't know him, you should do because I've edited him a few times on the channel. I've also been on this channel on YouTube. So uh, please have a look at uh, Brad Babs, Huddersfield Town, and he's got a good uh, content on his YouTube. So get on that if you don't mind. So yeah, uh, I've just been having a bit of a laugh off of there. Because uh, <laughs> if I don't laugh, I'll probably end up crying. Uh, yeah. <laughs> is that I think it's do or die for us tomorrow. Uh, Obviously, come up against the good Huddersfield side, who's fighting for points for your own specific reasons. Um, it seems to be getting better and better for you, Brad, to be fair. Yeah. Um, we had a little blip a couple of, a couple of weeks ago when when it kind of it, it fizzled at um, Forest away. Mm. We decided to field majority, well, half and half, first team, half, B team. You know, not starting with a striker. Um, we got caught out. A lot of us were kind of thinking he's done that because we would have got Liverpool anyway and we're not going to beat them. Mm. So so maybe it was kind of, you know, damage limitation, you know, kind of just just go out quietly and not worry about another another extra game. But then when we went on to West Brom and bottled a 2-0 lead, thanks mm. to the beautiful refereeing of the EFL mm. um, and our own fault for the second goal, like, He's not touched him. Like, there's no contact made for the penalty. But you know, that's that's obviously second goal is our fault. And then followed by a defeat against Millwall and a defeat against Bournemouth. And we seem since to have picked it back up and uh, kind of, you know, winning majority of games. The only game we've drawn against is uh, is QPR, and they're a team that we can happily give a point to because they're not really looking like they'll they'll sneak in. Could be one of five teams there, but I just don't feel it with them at the minute, not with their form. When you're going through that blip, uh, were, were any fans starting to get a bit worried or concerned, or what you've seen this season? Did you think, no, it'll turn it around, you know, it'll make it come good again? Well, it, it comes from a good place, really, Neil, to be fair, but I can't believe we're actually thinking it. But up until that point, we were even like looking at, at the possibility of automatics because yeah. Bournemouth were having their own slip ups. And and all it takes in this league is two weeks of bad results, and you can just manage to to salvage something you can get from one point to other. So it it wasn't more of a it wasn't more of a thing. We were we were good. Do we want to do it that way? Um, I'll be honest. I'm 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 most part I'm a positive fan, but when stuff starts to go wrong, I've seen it happen, and I've seen it happen with us in the past, and it comes in in big chunks. And we were quite disciplined professionally to make sure it didn't. Mm. Um, it's not to say I lost the belief, but obviously as a football fan, you know what your team's capable of. And when you see it happen uh, at a bad to kind of thing, you fear the worst and you, yeah. you you start thinking negatively. And it's hard to it's hard to defer whether that's logic or whether that's, you know, your, your kind of football-infused PTSD getting the better of you there. So, yeah. but... I knew we'd pick it back up eventually, but I didn't think we'd pick it up this well. You know, like, like to yeah, this point where yeah. we've, you know, ten points out of the, out of the last four. I can I can be really you know positive about that going into going into this game. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm looking at table like now in your form. It was like two losses and a win, win, draw and a win. And when you're looking at it, like what you just said, Via, you go from like Sheffield United, what are in six at minute at six six points, but then you look at Millwall on sixty five. Blackburn on 63, yeah. Middlesbrough on 63. It's it's very tight, isn't it? So like you just said, yeah, a couple of weeks, bad results, and it's like one, any one of them could be just sneaking up. Uh, do you think that, obviously, you're going to be fighting for more or less third spot because Luton, I mean, Luton Town, 71 points in fourth. Yeah. Do you think it's this stage of season now? Because we, it, it sent for me like it was for us last season when we were in playoffs. We were more or less concentrating on... We can be finishing playoffs, and you, you tend to start looking at who could we get in that spot in playoffs. And I think you sometimes you take your eye off at the ball. Are you at that point now where you're thinking we need to win because we're going to play X, Y, Z team kind of thing? Um, for us, I think I think the priority should be, and uh, and this is going to obviously hurt yourselves. Uh, but and the priority for us is to just keep doing what we're doing and just. Mm. I've said it, and it's quite bad, obviously, in your case. But we, we mm -hmm. need to drum a team. We need to yeah. need to win a game by three or four again, ju just to just to really hammer down that kind of you know we mean business. Um, and we've got three games to do it. Um, 
I don't see it happening against Cov, so it's between hopefully you or Bristol, and I just like to see that, and it gives peace of mind that we're that we're not just scraping results. Yeah. Um, obviously, that's not to say we scraped it at Borrow. You know, we absolutely had Borrow like all over. Like you didn't even look like scoring, but but I just like to see that. Um, I think the priority as well is a mix between resting and um, and being smart about it with with team selection. You know, so. Don't just put the kids out, but at the same time, don't be playing everyone that's that's fatigued and and got injuries. You know, we've got Sorba, just had a knock at Middlesbrough, having a scan today. If he's out for the playoffs, that's massive. That that's season defining. Mm. Hopefully, he's not. I'd rest him for the rest of the month, to be to be perfectly honest, just to give him that best chance. Uh, same goes for Ward and um, and Colwell. If they need the rest, give it to them. You know, yeah. we've got we've got back up. Um, we don't need to win these games because I, I do believe we're in the playoffs as it stands. I know mm. mathematically that isn't the case, but I do believe we are. Mm. But you're right, it is at that point now where we're we're looking at who we could get. Yeah. I did a stream last night and I got I got two different fans on to get their views. And the message that's going through a lot of this fan base is Luton, I reckon we what we reckon we could do over two legs. Uh Sheffield United the same. We've we've got history there as well, so obviously that's on our side. Uh, Millwall would be a bit of a, a weird one because we've won one and lost one. Mm. Uh, QPR, they've took points off us, so we won't like that. Mm. But Blackburn were quite positive about and Middlesbrough were quite positive. But it's like you say, it's about, apart from West Brom, I think even Swansea could make a late push because the thing is mm. they've got all got games in hand as well. So it's yeah. just really tight down at that thing. And Swansea are in brilliant form at the minute. So there's, there's about five teams in that thing that could nick that sixth spot and as it stands we would get them so yeah we need to yeah we need to kind of thing but you know push forest down a bit um keep forest and Luton away from it and and um and just keep doing what we're doing and get get more points on the board it can't hurt can it no i mean it's like we uh like we weren't playoffs last season kind of thing as you know and we sent to go through a bit of a blippy and it's like we're taking his eye football because we didn't play offs, you got to keep on going. And then we managed to pick it up a bit, a result. And then we obviously uh, saw Swansea. So you're just going going on via them, Brad, about players, you know, resting players and this other. On behalf of Barnsley, we've got Brad Collins out for the rest of the season. Uh, yeah, big miss that. Yeah, Elik, he's out as well. He was supposed to be having a fitness thing, but he's out for tomorrow and he might be out for the rest of the season like now. Woodrow's back. I mean, he's he's been on bench for the last two games, so he's come off. As regards making any changes, I mean, it's like lap at God's way, what player does at minute. Um, for me, it it, it made some questionable questionable substitutions and tactics. We played Reading one no up, and then we sat we sat back for like last half hour at second half. A game what we yeah. should have won. We, we've done we it. We brought we've on the striker yeah. at 90th minute, and I'm like, this is a game we need to win. But you're bringing a striker in at 90th minute, it's like so frustrating. So, as regards our injuries, I think it's only them two are uh, really missing for us. I th- it's going to stop with the same formation, Poya. I don't know what uh, you are doing, you probably stick with the same formation, but we always will he'll, he'll stick with the same formation. But it's just, I don't know, it's it's weird because I've when we've gone to Woodersfield, it's always been a good atmosphere. It's always, you know, we've had some good times about yeah, Woodersfield and that. It's going to be and, so negative tomorrow because yeah. obviously it's, it's do or die, and it's yeah. not going to be like that that famous two two draw where there's all there's all joy and mm. and it, it is sad at the end of the day. But the the issue that I think you face is is one similar to ours. You've gone ahead in so many games and it's just it's just not not stayed. Um, mm. We have a similar problem there. I'll be honest with you. We we could have been. Clearly, second by by a, by a, like a bit by a far bit if we did held on to results, you know, I can I can ca- I can't count on my hand the amount of games we bottled from winning positions. You were one of them at your place. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you know? Do you know what? We'll just scroll through the table and I'll, I'll prove my point here straight away. Coventry at home, uh, West Brom away, um, Stoke at home, uh, Stoke away, I believe as well. Um, the the list Cardiff away Peterborough away, the list goes on mate honestly mm. we, we could um we could have about a good a good twelve points there that that you know it, we, we'd be one point behind Fulham like we could we could have yeah. a good a good chunk of points that we we've thrown away from um, winning positions and you know I was thinking about this just as we started the stream I think 
it's sad and it is kind of it's gutting really with with what's going on with, with yourselves with Derby with Peterborough. But at the end of the day, it, it goes back to a lot of the stuff. Reading got a lot of results done early in the season, didn't they? Um, yeah. Before the deduction, you know, the likes of winning Fulham. If you'd have managed to do that a couple of weeks ago, you know, managed to just get that result over the line. Mm. It's a completely different. It, it, it bangs you two points up with your four games to go, and then it's you know, and then nine points puts you level. And just going what you've just been saying for the last ten minutes, us for the last ten minutes we've lost around about nine or twelve points. Us literally, I mean, yeah. Coventry City, it, 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 it away at Coventry City were like nil nil, and they scored at like ninety odd minutes, and it was like lost. Reading, QPR, Fulham. It's like yeah. we could, and I'm like, them ten points, nine points don't sound a lot, but you take it via. It's it's an hell of a lot, and again, yeah, it's his own down doing. Um, like I said, you know, if you come on, if you watch any of the streams or like that in comments, it's amount of people have said, why am we not taking it? We need to win. Urgency was the agency, and it's like, yeah, no, urgency exactly is a strong. Season. Urgency is a strong part of of, of a team. You know, yeah. we drew to QPR the other week, mate. You know, we deserve to lose that game, and mm. the only reason we didn't is because we, we are where we are. And when you're up there, the luck is on your side, mm. it, it always is in, in this game. Mm. Um, we, we didn't deserve that point, I don't think we did. You know, mm. you well, as an away side, if, if the away side, I always look at it like this if the away side's come to your place, scored two goals, and had that many chances in the second half. It, in a weird way in my head, I feel like they kind of deserve it more because they've yeah, come to our ground, yeah, and put us. We need tension, aren't we, to take game to you? And yeah, game, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I always sort of favour the away side because it's they've come to you and shown you how to play your own football, kind mm. of thing. Mm. Um, we underestimated QPR. The, the problem with this league is you find yourselves, it's always the team you least expect. If you'd have told me that we were going to beat Luton and beat Borough and draw to QPR, I'd have told you you would were, you were silly and off your head on whatever, but it's, it's just, um, Weird, over, crazy, over a it? season, it, it's just how it happens, and it's like you say about the ten points that you could have had. You'd be one point behind Reading with four games yeah. to go. You, do you know what? It's the difference could, in it could have even caught Birmingham. You could have been, you could have been like really safe, like so. Yeah, it's, it's just, just what you said for Via with inconsistency as well. We, we lose at home against Peterborough, no disrespect to Peterborough, but then we win three two against at home against Middlesbrough. Yeah. It's like Middlesbrough knocking on door to and QPR. Like, you beat QPR at home, yeah, as well, didn't you? and it's like what the inconsistency. Not so, even, not you know, even it's we frustrating. beat QPR this season. We, they've taken really? four points off us, so it's weird, isn't it? Weird. Yeah, is so yeah, going going into the game, then obviously you you're gonna have your uh, you know your formation and that's more. It's gonna be the same. Would you make any changes? Has has there been any niggles or injuries? Is your concerning for? Uh, Peter Huddersfield uh, t- uh, camp? Um, so, like I say, Sauber's had a knock at Borough, uh, gone mm. off at half-time, uh, seen the crutches, feared the worst. Ward went off against QPR at half-time, mm. uh, wasn't in the squad for Borough. Uh, like I say, I think we've got playoffs, mm. as it is. Now, we could easily drop down to six and still get it, but mm. obviously it'd be at the other end and we'd get a harder team. Yeah. Um, so we'd quite like to still win, still win, but from from where I stand, he'll probably go tomorrow with Nichols in goal, Toffolo, Nabisar, who has been playing really well. He's he's come on uh, in the last minute against Luton, last two minutes, got an header, and then started on Borough, got another header, and and been absolutely solid whilst fasting. The guy, mm. honestly, absolutely crazy. Tom Lee's, um, Turton probably or Pippa either or they both played good. The usual three of Hogg, O'Brien and Russell. And then up, obviously, front three will be very different because obviously Sauber and Ward are usually yeah. up there. It'll probably be Jordan Rhodes and uh, Danel Sinani with Karoma or Dwayne Holmes. So. A lot of talent there, a lot of danger, a lot of threat. You yeah. know what I mean? I mean we, yeah. We've got that depth this year. We've been lucky and fortunate enough to have a good work ethic. And that's, it's like, we spoke about this last time on the show, the work ethic's half the half the yeah. job, really. If you, you, A driver of the work ethic of the quality of every day a week. A driver have the squad that we do than, than the likes of the rest of the thing. Because, I mean, you look at the quality that the likes of QPR have got, but it, it's fizzled out. Mm. You, know, you look at the quality of the likes of teams like Sheffield United, they're six and we're higher than them, so we must be doing something right. Um, yeah. West Brom, you know, there's there's plenty of teams that have that quality but can't do all with it because they can't get the system or the work ethic right, and, and we've seemed to crack that. 
Yeah, good point about work ethic. Uh, it's for it's it's for Barnsley. I can't see him changing it. He's, he hasn't changed it all season really. He's got he likes for four two three one. So for me at back, well, obviously Walton's going to be in instead of Collins. He's going to be playing Britain, Kitchen, Anderson, Vita, more or less because that's all all we've got really. I mean, he's yeah. on his on his bench. Midfield, he'll probably play Gomez and Palmer, or he could do Gomez and Wolf. But I would like to see Wolf and Palmer because I think Gomez, although he's a good technical, quick player, is small and is lightweight, and I think it's key against Middle Huddersfield uh, and in uh, when we play your bigger teams, you need someone to be a, a bigger, stronger presence in midfield. Yeah, no, I break it up. we're the same. We're the same. We had a similar do with Borough when we played him at home. Uh, we played him away, we had him all over the shop, but playing him at home, it was crooks and a couple of their dads having Og and O'Brien chasing ball because it were always in air. Mm. With it always being in air, we couldn't um we couldn't we couldn't bring it down, we couldn't attack, we couldn't out. Um yeah, I get what you're saying. That the, the Gomez lad he might be he might be one to put out wide maybe or he might be mm. one to bring on later on because we we've definitely got, got a big squad and the back the back four I mentioned then we're all six foot and above. Apart from Turton, who's like five, ten, five, eleven. Um, we you look know, at Hall. our front three. We've got uh, Bassi, Queena, and Morris. So you've only got Morris potentially going up against them big lads via. So he's, he's going to have his work cut out. And the a, issue you know is I mean? Nab- so... Nabi Sar isn't just tall. He's like six foot five. He's like huge. He, he's ridiculous. And then mm. Lee's about six two. You know, Morris is obviously going to be going over to that side to try and win him because he's not going to. Yeah. You're not gonna. You're not gonna battle with Nabi. Nabi is just ridiculous. Yeah. Score predictions, then, Brad. Uh, what do you think the score will be, mate? Um, see that there's two ways that this game goes for you. That you know, people like try and glorify it and all, mm. and say, oh, oh, yeah, there's a million ways this game. I don't think it is. I genuinely think it's one or two because you have to win this game, don't you? Yeah. Anything other than a win, and you're down. We're down. Yeah. Yeah. Because we need we need twelve points, and there's a possible eleven. So and um, then when we look oh, at his course, games, yeah, because you can't you can't get eleven points out of four games. You can only get ten. So and then you when we look to... at his rest of his games coming up, we've got uh, Blackpool on Tuesday, Preston on Saturday, followed by West Brom. So it's basically oh. win all them four. Plus we've got to plus you got to hope that Reading don't pick a point up. Really? So it's do or die in it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Oh my god! It's and just... the winning lottery numbers for this Saturday are. <laughs> <laughs> oh what a oh what a... yeah! So... It's... And we've won one get away game all season. And that were at Who all. that? Hull. Hull. Two, two nil away at Hull. One away game all season we've won. Wow. So wow. the odds are stacking up favourably in your your direction, <laughs> Brad. Oh my god! Wow. Yeah. Um. Well, has that, has that altered your opinion? <laughs> what you no, said, five note Barnsley. <laughs> I'll say this, mate. In my tie supporting town, if you need a win, you come to us. We'll sort <laughs> it out. Because this season, <laughs> right? We're going away to Cardiff, yeah. <clears throat> even even in November, you could tell that we were somewhere a bit more special out of the ordinary. You know, we were around that top ten mark. Everyone backed us to be bottom, so already we're overachieving. Never mind, like third or fifth or sixth. Hmm. So we were going to Cardiff away. We're, we're all joking to ourselves, going, "Oh my god, we, we might win in Wales for one." So this is great. This they've not won in nine. Well, what Kiefer Moore gets one back, and then in ninety fifth yeah. minute, he goes, he goes, he goes sliding on grass at away at, at home end, and I'm like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> I've never, you know, I I could feel the tears forming in my eyes. Yeah. I had to, I had to just get out, but my mate, I thought my mate were gonna like hit someone like he just he's not violent or all. He just, you see it like just, building up all pressure. Yeah, he could just see terror in his eyes. He just, he just went, he just ran downstairs. He went, I'm out, I'm gone. Like, literally, oh, like, but yeah, like he literally, I could see honestly, it, 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 it looked like it looked like seven. You could just see the, the pain in his eyes, yeah. oh. but not honestly. Not. <laughs> just I won't give up all. I know yeah four games can't, they can't get a point but, but whilst there's a chance well there's a chance yeah, yeah. well there's a chance um, oh. I would I would back, back us to win this every day of the week yeah. to be honest with you mate um, but if you need a win like I say in past times we have been the Robin Hood um, which is 
you know, even more comical in this scenario when you really need it. But, mm. um, God, I'm going to go with a, a 2 0 town win. 2 0 town win. Not a million miles, but I've said 2 0 for, for, you, for uh, Huddersfield. I just hope that Barnes actually turn up and gear the game rather than the Millwall game, what we got lost 4 yeah. 1. We were just like, it's inevitable. Although yeah. it's inevitable, you've still got to think of fans that are paying the hard earned money and making travel and that. Yeah. It's like you've still got to go out and do a job. And if you know, if if we come away and we've like said, do you know what? We've lost two or one, but lads have given it a go and we've actually run it in. I'm you like, got a goal. What? They've, they've, they've done it, yeah. I just don't want them to go there and think, well, we're dying anyway, so it don't really yeah, yeah it no, does matter because we're paying money. professionals, it's, money. it's yeah. part it's part of the principle. I mean, yeah, I've always thought to myself, you know, like when I was younger, we all grew up wanting to be footballers and and kind of you know, when I've always thought about it, there's been some times where I've seen people jogging, I've just thought, you you don't you just so jammy you because yeah. like you you know, there's so many players that were actually good that never made it. Not mm. that I was, but there's been plenty of people that have that yeah. have not cut yeah. it. And they would give an arm, uh, not a leg, obviously, because that won't work. But but an arm, obviously, to to yeah. play to play professional. And it's straight, though, isn't it? Yeah. And yeah. they're just jogging him out pitch. And you just think, do you know what? I could I could do half of this because yeah. if I've got the work ethic, I could do half of what you do. So and that's what it but, down to, isn't it? But yeah, if if you put the graft in and, and you come away with even a point, yeah, you'll go down. But you'll go away looking like looking at it like well. You know, there's promising signs there. If we're, if we're playing against like that, if we're in the championship, then we've got you know a good chance of maybe going up next season. You know, it's trying to top of yeah positive. Yeah, it is, from what you can. You know, yeah. we're not going to sugarcoat it. You know, you might be down on Friday, but but if you're going to go down, go down with a bit of with a bit of kind of passion you know, and fate and well, yeah, positive yeah. preparation for next season as well. You know, yeah. you, you're not dying as a club. You're not you're not doing a. Um, you're not doing what, what a couple of teams are financially. You know, you, you've been to League One before and come back. Uh, mm. It is getting harder and harder yeah. to go up. Uh, you know, the likes of Plymouth up there doing a massive job, obviously, just coming up from League Two. But, mm. you know, I just I just bear with it, you know. Um, I don't know what the situation is with a coach. You might have a new one by next season. It might... Yeah. Uh, it's might under review, this. and I think a lot of players will be under review as well this season. Uh, and I think, I think it's going to be a bit of a rebuild job. And I think, yeah, no, in, in my opinion, and others, other fans as well, they'll tell you the same as that it, it needs it because I think there's some players that are in the mindset as in either they're going or it's one of them. And I'm like, do you know what? If you're not up for faith, if you're not up for cause, yeah, see you later and we'll go yeah, move exactly. on. It's, um, you know, we're not a big club by any stretch. Uh, you know, yourselves are a big club. Um, one thing that I find with these, with these not not big clubs, but not exactly small, hmm. is that, that they're all quite close, like family tied, and yeah. and 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 they pride themselves more on that that work ethic than the hmm. than the actual spending eight hundred million on a sure. on a player who's just because he's got green boots and he started in a Nike advert. It's yeah. like, you know, it's we have had a massive massive rebuild. From the promotion team that got to the Prem, we've got one player left. Hmm. Uh, from the team that came down, I mean, I'd have to look through the, you know, look through yeah, the, see, yeah, the, the yeah. sheets. But I would, I would say it's it's maybe two. Hmm. I can only think about Hog, and you know that might even be it. The only yeah. other player that's that's left in the Cowleys is is obviously what the Cowleys brought in in Harry ah, Tuffle. Yeah, and, yeah. and um, honestly, we've we made eight signings this year. And every one of them, it took a while for more, but every one of them has been absolutely giving it all. And the um, and I can't complain. The keeper, especially that guy, he wants a statue because oh mm. my god, he'd oh my god, he'd stop a nuclear bomb if it were coming for him. He's just no, uh, that that's what you want, isn't it? And that's what that you is want. what you want. Yeah. We we wouldn't we wouldn't be where we are. We'd be we'd be eighth, maybe ninth without without that guy. He just he's done it once, he'll do it again, kind of thing. And um, touch wood for tomorrow, but. Yeah, I'm looking here at these. I can see straight away the likes of players that will go. You know, Helic. I don't think he'll be with you next season. No, it, he'll, he'll end up going probably because he's a post international. Um, it's so funny because someone asked me, who, who would you keep out of players, retain players, or you could? And I said, Matty Wolf, because he signed a, a young a, a young kid and he's got a contract. Morris, I'd, I'd love to keep because he's up for fate. Woodrow, I'd like to keep, but, you know, would he go? Uh, yeah, he's a championship injury. striker at the end of the day, so it's a hard one to. Styles has been linked with Celtic in January, and he's done get international now. Blackburn has been sniffing around Britain, but when you look at when I look at rest of them, because we've got four players on loan, for me, I've said, you know what, 
if any suitable offers came in, I wouldn't turn them down. I said, go and rebuild. And it's like what you'd have to do as well, like what you just said, Vivier. I think it's going to be a crucial summer for us where we've got to wait the ground running because I think if we're going to summer and we're still dealing, dealing about with a manager or players, we're yeah, going to be playing just... catch-up before we it, it balls even kick. So you yeah. need to get a good you, pre-training you'll, session. You'll be doing before. effectively what, what Swansea had to do where they lost a the manager that quick to the that quick to the deadline where mm. they brought in players for the wrong system and, yeah. and then they have to play catch up for the rest of the season. I reckon Swansea would be up there now. If uh, it wouldn't have been for that, yeah. Yeah, round about. Yeah. If, they've, if they'd have had Russell Marks from the start, it's, it's, a, it's a questionable style of football. They can pass mm. the ball about really well. Now, they don't always get results, but but they pass it well and they that's a good it, foundation yeah. for Prem football. So, you know, it's it's just been organised. You know, we, we've got recruitment spot on. It's and it's allowed, yeah, yeah we've, it's allowed the coach to just track on and do what he wants. If he mm. wants to do double training sessions and have us chasing a ball headless, he can do it. If it works, you know, we couldn't care less, personally. Mm. We're paying money and seeing quality football and having a pro, you know player promotion race. It's, exactly. We're, we're, we're happy. As long as, as long as you get the basics right, the rest will come with it. But, yeah. but until you sort out, you know, paper in cracks and square pegs in, in round holes, it's just going to keep coming back up. And and I've seen it. Wednesday had a similar problem when, um, mm-hmm. you know, obviously by the, by the kind of the um, deductions, they had a similar problem with players, you know. Yeah. And then now they're back up there. Um, I, I don't think... I don't think you'll you'll uh, you'll stay down. I think you would come back up. You just you just need that. I think. Well, I've done a few lives on that, and I think it'll take us about a season to come back up because yeah, the problems that for me. Some people say no, we'll we'll come straight back up. I'm thinking, I'm being realistic. I mean, yeah, I hope, you know, I'm hoping I'm wrong and we, we, we walk it, but I'm looking at teams that are going to be going down, and you look at Derby County; they're going to be one of the favourites without a doubt coming up. Oh with, yeah, with definitely. Yeah, yeah. And but I think even players, so, yeah. Even so, if, it, if it's not that scene, it with the next. I've, I've, yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't be worried of a Sunderland because you just. It's just not that kind of situation. No. Where you're not in. You're not. I don't know what the debt situation. They've had a lot. Got. I was going to say debts and everything with them, haven't they? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they've, they've had a lot under the kind of. You know, I would say all in secret, but then it all come out on Netflix, didn't it? And you kind mm-hmm. of saw to the extent of what what mm-hmm. was happening. But, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's. It's a bad situation, but yeah, I don't, I don't think you'll. I don't think. I think it'll take us a season, and I, you know, I'm open, proven wrong, or it's a take us a season. If we finish a good place up in top, I'm thinking, do you know what? I take back right now. Nah, you was that as a springboard for next season. Yeah, definitely. You know, so it is what it is. Uh, it's table don't lie at end of day, and it, it's all about standards. If you put your work yeah. ethic in and structure, it's all about standards. If you set, if you set your standards at this high, it'd be nice to go just above it rather than. Other side in it, and exactly. That's what we've done. You know, we, we set. Oh, well, that's not what we've done. We've absolutely obliterated it. Really, we we probably come into this season with the objective of of twelfth. You know, mm. maybe thirteenth. And uh, and one of the, I'd like to say, he, he's a rotation player. He plays once every couple of months, right? He come on the other day. He's got eye. Uh, he's had a couple of good games, a couple of bad games. You know, mm. but I, I wouldn't be starting him at this point because he's mm. just not used to in the squad. And he said he come out and said at the beginning of the season. You know, we want to look at the playoffs this season, and we were all sat there like, "What is this guy?" You know, yeah, we've just stayed up. Like, is he with the worst defense in the league last season? Has he seen something we haven't? Well, mm. he's got eyes. He's yeah. got eyes because uh, honestly, we, we we were sat there. And we were like, I think the game that we noticed was Everton at home. We were, we were drumming ball about, and yeah. even so, even though we lost, you could just kind of tell some of were a bit. Some of yeah. You could there was structure to it. There were there were a bit of, a bit of substance. Um, but as long as you get the work ethic sorted with the players, I think you'll be fine. That's Most the happy. that's the main thing. Just it get is, the man. deadwood out, get the deadwood out, yeah. sort the money side of it, and then you you'll just crack on with it. And over a course of the season, it's like we've seen here. Over a course of the season, what can happen? Of course, it can. Appreciate you, Brad, for joining. Everybody watching, please like, subscribe, and share. If you haven't checked him out already, Brad Babs is on YouTube. Massive Huddersfield Town fan. He's got content on there. Please watch it. Very good lives and that as well. Because I've uh, jumped on a few as well. for Some great banter and that going off. So I appreciate it, Brass, for joining me, mate. Nah, it's been great. It's been a, it's been a joy to be here, mate. And oh. anyways, all the best. Where it, where it can be all the best. Um, uh, yeah, It is what it is. The best thing to say is what it is. Uh, if yeah. you don't laugh, you'll cry. But... Um, and we'll gear the game. That's all I want. And just actually yeah, compete exactly. and gear the game. Yeah. Just don't make it easy for us. Otherwise, we were, you know, <laughs> it's, it's quite bad to say this. I'll finish off with this. Yeah. We were 2 0 up against Peter Britt, seventh minute at home. 
it got to the point where some of us were actually sat there and were like, well, this is a bit boring, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously, we sat there and were like, like yeah, what now? We were, no yeah, yeah. We were just yeah. like, we, we've got nothing to be scared about. Just going front motions kind of thing. <laughs> Honestly, I thought I thought Graham on the phone looking at bets and that. It was, <laughs> oh, it was God. Oh, God but alive. I drive it like that, then, then obviously the other side of the A nail biter, but, yeah. Yeah, definitely. but yeah, definitely. Uh, all the best for this and next season. We'll just see where, where that is. True. Uh, thanks, for, because I've, I've t- chatted to you a few times this season, so if we get joining Cups, don't like that next season, we'll definitely get me to come and have you back on. Cheers, Brad. Uh, much appreciated. One thing I'd like to say, you were heads. Thank you.